And right now we're still calculating around 500 million, half a billion cases of malaria every year. In terms of the global perspective, we are all working so hard through the Millennium Development Goals on multiple areas, but malaria is hurting us on every single one of those goals. So we need to end this right now in this generation so we can progress with education, with ending HIV AIDS, with getting more girls the economic empowerment they need. But we have to end this first and so we can move forward on those other areas. Two summers ago, we went to Rwanda. This last summer, we went to Ethiopia and Ghana. All three of those countries have cut deaths from malaria by more than half in just the last two years, and it's quite a shocking statistic. To do is capture those moments. If South Africa eliminates deaths from malaria, and we have these other countries that have cut them in half, Zambia also is one of those that's cut them in half. We need to tell those stories. We need to point to people the models that, that exist that have made that possible and show the path in terms of what more can be done. In 1955, we had a chance to end malaria. That chance was lost because of a lack of government support. To end malaria deaths, we need government support. President Obama has proposed a major increase in malaria spending. There are two funding mechanisms for malaria by the U.S. government, the President's Malaria Initiative and the Global Fund for AIDS, TB, and Malaria. We're asking Congress to fully fund both. It's really important that we use all of our voices right now, particularly in this country, with our congressmen, with our senators, because we are on track to end malaria deaths by 2015. But to do that, we have to maintain the funding and the support that the government has given us. Years we've seen politicians, senators, who will say to us, well, you, know, you know you can count on my vote because I understand that, um, but it sure would help if my colleagues knew that the public cares about this and that they, that they won't be punished for uh, supporting funding for, for these kinds of things. And I think people may be so cynical about the political process that they don't understand that it really does work that way. That when politicians hear from constituents, students, church groups, rotary clubs, and you tell people that $10 can buy a bed net that saves a life, that um, is something people can, can relate to. It's not some esoteric solution. What we want from those from America to provide for us eh, is just these nets because NETS is the most things to secure that disease. You can actually step into the story to end malaria. Malaria, though, is of a scale uh, like really no other, no other challenge. And I have to say that as an advocate, the day that we can say we stop deaths from malaria will be an unbelievable breakthrough for those people who are vulnerable to malaria. But for everybody who's fighting poverty, it's going to show what happens when we can really work together in a collective and coordinated way. Malaria can be stopped. It's only death which cannot be stopped. Love your role in shaping humanity. Because united, we can end malaria.